Hey everyone. Oh man, this theme is so fucking catchy, holy. But yeah, we're going on to the 2D platform and we are gonna be playing a fucking game show. All of a sudden I start feeling like I'm on a fucking game show what or something. Game show? Oh, a quiz show, I guess you could say. Gonna be activating our final ding pots. Yep, so I pretty much got every collectible in the game. Last part, finished everything up. And we're gonna be winning the star prize. Which, you know, I guess it's 2D. That's our main objective. The washing machine would be pretty nice. We can wash our jorts and shorts and wash, um, you know, our backpack and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, this is our quiz show. Eating is nuts. Uh, and that's not even mentioning I mean, I wouldn't eat mine. Nuts but, are. Uh, you know, it's, um, maybe you wanted to win the Pain Olympics. Don't look that up, kids. Happy person cut hut. Yep. Happy person hut. Beautiful. White scores you can pass. Uh, grunty questions are basically the stuff Brent told us. Says. But like I said, this is a different file because... I forgot to record my successful attempt after motherfucking, like, after so many attempts of failing because, I don't know, the death questions were just fucked. Like, I got so unlucky. Easy musical notes. I'm not, like I said, I'm not using audio, so it is what it is. Joker questions are anything, like anything goes, it could be any category. Except for death questions, obviously, because the death questions are any category as well. I, oh fuck. And you can only get them once, after that you're fucked. But if you do get them right, you get two Joker cards, so you can skip two squares. So they are very important to get. But yeah, I didn't really get the Grunt, they get Brent Tilda. So, uh, Treasure Trove Cove. I didn't really get Brent Tilda, unfortunately, because I just rushed through. Just wanted to guess. I think this is my second or third attempt in this file, so fucking crazy shit. And get ready, because the credits are pretty fucking long. I'm just going to warn you guys that right now. Ouch. Wrong. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the credits are pretty long. So when I found out that I didn't actually press... Or gloop, obviously. When I pressed it, when I didn't press record, I was like, oh, fuck. I got to play the game all over again. We yeah, have the timers are actual challenges. So we gotta slow Banjo because we backwards. So it's uh, and in half the time, it's a little bit more difficult. But uh, if you're fast about it and, and you know where the letters are, you can do it. I think I win with a few seconds to spare. It's uh, while we're doing this uh, pretty difficult-ish challenge. Let's, uh, see what's on the most toxic, uh, social media platform of all time, Twitter. Oh, right. The Sonic Colors Remaster, uh, rumor. This is probably going to be old news by the time, uh, I think I get this video uploaded. Pretty, really old news because this is the second last part. Closed in our long johns. No, that was a question from the other file. But yeah, the Sonic Colors uh, rumor. It could be debunked or not by now, it could be revealed. Um, I prefer Unleashed, to be honest, than Generations. Generations already has a PC port. Even Heroes, I prefer it to Colors. But I mean, it is what it is. If you haven't played it before, it's pretty good. I mean, you can run it on Dolphin, no problem. Uh, if you have a PC that's newer than 20... 2013, a decently powered computer in 2013 onward, I'd, I'd say, but anyway, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna go for the Joker. But yeah, if it's gonna be running through the Hedgehog Engine 2, it's gonna be better for mods, it's gonna be easier for the PC version if it's gonna come to PC, hopefully. Uh, I know it's coming to Switch if it's a real game, because that's like one of the main platforms, which it is a Nintendo exclusive, I don't know, I don't know if Nintendo published it, I don't think so, I hope not. But if they did, then that means they own publishing rights, which means that 
it might not come to other platforms, which is a shame. But like I said, it's on Dolphin, one of the best emulators of all time in terms of functionality and, and features. Mad Monster Mansion again. The, uh, the organ in the church. It was a flea circus in my other file, but I guess we're in Force Girdle. Wow, lucky guess. Oh, that's nasty. But it is uh, Clinker's Cavern. That's obviously Clinker. Which, you know, some of these questions are pretty easy, some of them are pretty hard. You know, especially near the end, I think they actually get harder. Yeah, like I said, I don't have audio, so I'm not sure. Because if I did, you'd hear an echo in the back. I'm just watching it on my TV, my, the edited parts. Treasure Show of Cove, I guess, yeah, pretty easy. The music is iconic, so obviously it's pretty easy to tell um, you know, which music's from where. The voices are pretty iconic, too. A lot of them, not a lot of them, but a decent number of them do get recycled. But for the questions, I don't think any of them are recycled voices. They're uh, unique. This motherfucker. You need your speed shoes here. You need your speed shoes here. I'm not even fucking around. And I believe they change every five seconds. I'm not sure if you get a one-up for eating 35. Uh, like you would in the regular thing. But at the end of the day... Um, I know you just gotta kick his ass. That was fucked. I pressed the B button. You saw that and you heard his chomp, but didn't go through. Oh well. Um, I th I don't know if I cut it out or not, but I'm pretty sure I failed once or twice. But I don't know. It looks like so far we're kicking his ass. Knock on wood. Man, I still forgot to fill my water. But you know what? I'm not really thirsty, and uh, the part's not that long because we're pretty much halfway done the uh, the quiz. If not a little bit longer, or a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more than halfway, which is good. Um, at the end of the day, you know, the speed shoes really help though, because like, holy shit, we fucking kicked this guy's ass. 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 <laughs> Fuck you, vile. Fuck you. But anyway. He played an organ, which is weird. I don't know why they're called organs, because organs are the stuff inside your body, like your brain, your heart, your anus. No, it's not an organ. <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove. Oh my god, fuck, I'm sorry. No grunty question. I'm Lord Master 2000. Nice. Good guess. Like I said, these are pretty much guesses because I rushed through this game to get the... To get to this part to record because I fucking forgot to record the motherfucking quiz after failing so many goddamn times. Oh fuck. I got this right, but... Oh shit. Gobi's Valley? There's a trove code. Gobi's Valley? Yeah, well that was easy. Yeah, the, the, the skull questions actually kill you. If, if you get them wrong, you get knocked back right into the lava. Oh no, I didn't, I just skipped it. Well, interesting. But yeah, there you go. Three jokers, no problem. This is strategic. I do this every time. Tuna ice cream in the other version. Moldy cheese. And it's spelled M-O-U-L-D-Y because it's British English because the game was developed in Britain. I think there's... American English in some of the uh, thing, anyway. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's, that's, that's gross. This is a kid's game. Come on. But yeah. Slugs do. There you go, finally. Voices are pretty easy to uh, discern, so no problem there. Um, Cranky Kong, wow, that's crazy. Nice, uh, that's in the Xbox port as well. 
So yeah, Microsoft, you're getting sued. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to report you. Uh, I'll take Banjo Kazooie on the Switch as ransom. And Tui. But I'm not in bolts. Okay? If you don't comply, then. I'm, I'm sorry, but there's gonna have to be some consequences. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, Phil Spencer. You're a great guy, but. It's, uh, blackmail uh, exists for a reason, buddy. Exists for a reason. Now, I don't think I have any uh, golden feathers, so a bit of a shame, but at this point, I pretty much know exactly where everything is. You know, so. Pretty fucking easy, eh? It's a breeze in the fucking pants. Yeah, so pretty much half the parts dedicated to the, uh, the credits. So I don't know if I'm going to talk through it. I might talk through the end, but... A bunch of flowers, obviously. Pretty easy. And there you go. I'll use the last three jokers, skip everything like that. All those fucking those two death questions and the Grunty question. Well, if you want to be thin, you can have a nice diet, have a nice exercise regimen, and uh, lose the weight. You can do it. I mean, you're, it's not going to fix your face, but at least you'll have a nice beach bod if you commit to it. I'd say the wash pot. I don't think the uh, the doll would suffice. I don't like it. Oh, you meant? Oh, she's not ugly, Kazooie. That's not nice. What are you jealous? You're 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 not the best looking boy. Come on. Anyway, so we're gonna be picking up uh, Tay Tay. But yeah, so this is the credits. Yeah, so we get the credits before the final boss. It kind of subverts our expectation. You don't even need to fight the final boss. If you unlock all your rewards for 100%ing the game, or technically 98%ing the game, because you don't have to 100% to get all the rewards. Uh, I'll kill for an extra cutscene, an extra couple cutscenes at the end of the game. Uh, let's see, that's another, that's a good reward for 100, uh, Jiggies, but 900 notes, which is the max that we have, we don't really need, you know, we don't need a reason, really. We just, I think the max 882 is, like, the highest door. But anyway, we're gonna get, uh, our rewards next part. We're just gonna hear the, uh, the credits. Now, just wanna say that, wow, this game is just... Fucking fantastic. It's short and sweet. That was super heartfelt. It was short and sweet off the cuff. Like I said before, it's like, you know, once, especially once you know it, like it's great the first time, but once you know it, it's super, super fun to just like play through and, you know, rush through. Like, because if you know everything, like you can beat this game really fast. Like I said, 14 parts. And like I said, like I wasn't playing this uh, in the best state of mind, let's just say. So beating it, you know, that quickly in that state, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Like, sometimes I play better when I'm baked, sometimes I play a little worse. It is what it is. But um, at the same time, like I had a lot of fun and I'm pretty sure you guys will too. And if you have an N64, I'm pretty sure this game isn't that expensive. It sold quite a bit of units. Or if you don't feel bad while pirating the N64 version, you can... Just use an EverDrive or an emulator if you really want to. Or if you have an Xbox platform, um, you can literally just play it on thing. On uh, 360, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox One Series X, and Xbox One Series X. So if you have any Xbox platform aside from the original Xbox, you can play this game, no issue. And if you have any Xbox platform at all, you can play the Conquer remake. And if you want to play the original, uh, you can play it on the Xbox One through Rare Replay. So that's pretty cool too. And you can also play the remake through the Xbox One's backwards compatibility as well. I like the pun names though. But anyway, yeah. Um, the only Rare games are missing are Golden Eye and um, 
the DKC and DK64 game, like the DKC series and DK64, the Diddy Kong Racing as well. Um, so hopefully, uh, I know the DKC series is on Switch now, which is great, and Wii U, which is fantastic, so you can play those no problem now. And they're everywhere, um, you can get them on ROMs if you, you know, if you want to pirate them. I don't advocate for piracy, but if you really want to, you can find them. Don't ask me for them though, because, uh, that's not right to thing. Oh, Snorkel, you're back under the thing? That's a shame. But anyway, yeah, uh, so yeah, this, this is a really cool game. I really like the fact that you can pretty much, you don't, there's barely any backtracking, uh, I'm pretty sure you can unlock Gobi's Valley, like, and get the running shoes, you know, pretty quickly. You don't really need the wading boots from, uh, from Thing, from Bubble Goop Swamp in Gobi's Valley. They're there, but you don't really need them. You can, like, tank the hits, and if you're playing the Xbox version and you don't give a shit about lives, you can just keep fucking dying, no problem. You know, because the notes and, and Jinjos don't reset, so that's pretty fucking easy. In my opinion so don't worry about that and then if you can get to Gobi's Valley you can get the waiting boots and the rest of the game is easy peasy lemon squeeze you know squeezy so um, maybe one day I'll try I'll try a run like that or maybe there's like a maybe there's a run like that with no backtracking we can look it up and we can see I might put it in the comments or edit something in who knows yeah, the credits are interesting I like how it's you know every character once or twice popping up and just saying names and sometimes, you know, just giving them nicknames and stuff like in the middle, which is funny. Snare bear. That's what they're called. Snare bears, not bear traps. Obviously, bear traps are wouldn't be good in a game like this because, yeah, they kind of snap a bear's leg. Um, sometimes it gets like ripped off. Oh, was it the jiggy in the back? And there's another one there, too. that just spawned. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, and, and the platform is lower too. Yeah, I guess this is from a uncompleted save file. The, well, the, the um, everything except for the uh, jiggies. Because I'm pretty sure this I got this 100% because this is a short level. You know, it's pretty easy to just quickly run through. You pretty much need 100% most of the levels. Like, because you need 700 something notes. You need 94 jiggies, I think, to beat the game. Which is crazy, or 90 something jiggies. So you need a good fucking majority. But at the same time, it's such a freaking fast game to complete. And it's like, once you know what you're doing, you know where everything is, it's so easy as well. Like I said, aside from Click Clock Wood, I beat every part, and every stage in one part with like, editing, obviously. But every part took less than an hour. So, like with editing down, I got them pretty much down to all less than 40 minutes per part. Some of them even less, which is great. And like I said, some of them didn't even require editing, like, uh, or minimal editing, some some levels, you know, the, the first two levels didn't require any editing, so that's, you know, it's pretty cool. Like I said, Banjo, uh, Tui, and Diga64, if you see Let's Plays for those, they're a lot longer, because, you know, there's a comparable amount of stages, there's a lot more collectibles, and, and their stages are bigger, a lot more to do in them, um, you know, so... It is what it is, there are longer games to complete, either due to padding or due to whatever. It is what it is, you know? Oh, Bruna sent me another message, let's see what she has to say. Please, I have Portuguese, this one's kind of nice for the pooch, you know, it's uh, a pooch. Oh, so her favorite breed, her, its name is Pooch in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, it's funny. Pooch is just a dog's nick. Name in English. Oh, yeah. Uh, my my stepdad's dog was a she to Maltese. Maltese, so I'm kind of attached. Oh, well, I guess they didn't need to cut the voice at all. I guess we have enough uh, voice for the credits. Yeah, there's extra credits, obviously, for the Xbox 60 version. Obviously, they give uh, some of that to Lago, the, the toilet full of shit, which, yeah, I guess they're, they're all salty that, uh, you know, 
Microsoft bought them to this day, or well, at least to the day they ported this. But yeah, look at that. That's Banjo's uh, goldfish. Apparently, it's invincible, so Mumbo just wants to grill it for fun. A sadistic fucking bastard. But we're gonna see him again if I play any other Banjo games. I'm pretty sure he's in every Banjo game. He's a stable, you know. He's he's part of the he, he's the trio. He, he's he's the um the sidekick and well the side sidekick in the, in the backlight. She wasn't kind of attached to them. Um, I miss him every day. Every day since him and my stepdad moved out in February. Yeah, long story. He just needs to get his pissed himself. Anyway, next time, we're going to be the star prize. Yeah! Yeah!